Uh, Nicole and I were just out taking a walk uh, when she gets off work. We live in heaven, basically, uh, up in the Swiss Alps. Uh, we walked up and around with our old dog and come back around and picked up the milk because my 10-year-old likes to go to the barn to help them milk the cows and sling the shit around. She comes in smelling like a barn. and I happen to like that smell from a distance when she comes in with it. It's not the most. We have her jump in the shower, but she just loves doing it. Every night she goes over there and shovels hay and, and feeds the baby cows and, and just just goes over just to do it, just because it's fun for her. And I love that she does it. She takes her bicycle over. It's about, oh, maybe a kilometer away, so it's no no big deal. And it's kind of horizontal here, which it's hard to find a horizontal path here. They're mostly up and down. But she went uh, to the barn, and I've lost my train of thought, which happens fairly frequently. I was talking about we went to heaven, we went to Kunters, we went to the milk, we came back with the milk, we... Um, what was I talking about? I'm going to have to let this one go and start again. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm back on track. <laughs> Gray hair. Boy, shit, it gets to you. So we're walking back, and we're talking about one of the guys here who had talked about how he had had open heart surgery, which is one of the things I... It's your business if you want to do it. And he had pig valves put in. And I was teaching a class in... New Jersey, I think. And there was a guy named John, and John was kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, he was wealthy, he was successful, and he thought his opinions counted. And, and on Sunday, he said, he started to say, I want to say something in the room. And, and everybody in the room said, shut up, John, because they had just had... And I said, y'all shut up. Everybody here, shut up. John, what do you want to say? Because I don't really, you know what I mean? You, you've got to watch people and watch their energy. And, and it looked like he had something really, really worthwhile to say. And he said, you know, I had two open heart surgeries, and he said, to replace valves. He said, they replace them with pig valves. He said, because they're the closest to human tissue. And he said, for six weeks to a few months after both surgeries, he said, I, I was in this, he said, this incredible state overtakes you. He said, you're out. He said, I would walk into Central Park, and I swear to God, I know how many blades of grass are there? And he said the colors are brighter. The, there's a greater sense of awareness. There's, and he went on and explained all these different things about what had happened for the after each surgery that he'd had because he'd had to replace them twice. They only last so many years. And he said it's coming up on seven years, and they're looking at having to do this again. And he said, there's part of me that's looking forward to the operation because of this state that I go in afterwards. It is so worthwhile. He said, the thing I want to tell you, Mick, that's happening right now. He said, whatever you're doing in this class, you're recreating that space for me. And that's what my work is about. That's some of what it's about, is to recreate a space for you and then show you ways to hang on to it. But we got talking about pig valves and odd how the mind works www.micpeakperformance.com